Right, so hubby and my son have just got my Halloween decor boxes down. As I said, what, this is one of the last slots I think that are actually in the cardboard boxes. I thought actually it was less than this. Yeah, well it's you, isn't it? Um, <laughs> because I'm sure that I did thin it down a couple of years now. That's not too bad. That's if they've remembered to bring everything down. So yeah, just the um, four boxes then. I know the light's not brilliant. It is, say it's Monday morning and um, the guys got my boxes down last night when we got back from our granddaughter's um, birthday party. So today I will be doing the unboxing and showing you what I have got. Um, so over the years I have actually thinned my um, Halloween decorations down quite a bit. I used to have about eight boxes if not more. So um, I'm not sh sure exactly um, what I ended up keeping. Um, so it's always a surprise to go through the boxes. So I'm going to do that first. And then in another video, I will then um, show you once I've placed all my pieces. Right, I've unboxed all my Halloween decorations. Um, you might think there's a lot here, but as I said, I have been collecting Halloween decorations since um, my first trip to America in 1993. And I've said this um, a few times here in Britain at the time, didn't really do anything um, for Halloween. So I have literally taken everything out of the boxes and um, organised it this way so I can show you what I have. I did used to, believe it or not, have more than this, um, but I did get rid of quite a lot and I may um, thin it down a little bit more. And also on top of this, I do have um, four of the light up schools I got from Poundland, which I have not actually included down here. And I have got um, a couple of um, Halloween um, cushions also. Um, as I said, I change the cushion covers and use the same um, cushion pads all the time. So let us begin. Um, not everything I'm going to remember where they came from due to the fact that um, a lot of it I've had quite some time. Right, so starting over here, I've got this banner. This could have been a Poundland banner, I think. So I've got that. I've also got these um, spiderweb um, like placemats. They could have been um, Poundland. Again, I'm not too sure. Um, these, I had a couple of packets of these. These are from Asta and they're um, glass clings, clingers that you put on the um, your glasses and that's what they are, they're like a transfer. So um, I quite use, I liked using these last year. Um, last year I also bought these um, for um, different bottles. These are the um, stickers um, with all the different um, Halloween sayings on poison toxic and all those sort of things. And I have this transfer um, trick or treat. I've got two like tombstone things here as I said I don't know where everything actually came from and down here these two were actually from Pound World um, when they were closing down it was getting like um, four to six items and that was for a pound so I got those two and I had quite a few other pieces but not Halloween I got quite a lot of um, Easter pieces at the time. Coming over here, this part here 
is what I got from Tesco's um, after Halloween last year. And things were like 10, 20 and 50 pence. Um, so I like something like this to put on my mirror um, in my hallway. So that's those, those window um, gel clings. That's that. Um, I've got two of these. As I said, a lot of this was like 20 pence. It's Pin the Smile on the Pumpkin Game. And as I said, I picked two of those up. Um, one for myself and one for a friend. I think these might have been 50 pence each. Um, it's a giant spider room decoration. So this is the time that um, is best to get um, decorations or anything to do with Halloween right after the season itself and then the next thing was this um, scene setter and there we are and it's just like polythene and again I think this one might have been um, 50 pence so I'll just move those out of the way so I can get over these I haven't used yet. I got these um, last year. I think they were like um, 25 pence each um, from Ikea. Um, like, um, you can use them to like, place settings and things. Or I Originally, I bought them because I thought they could be used um, if I wanted to label up um, what foods were on my Halloween table. And then we've got at the back there, if I itch over, <laughs> I've got two cordons here. And we just use those either um, for buffet food with a serviette or something inside, or um, to house sweets or snacks. Um, these, I think, could have come from b and I've had these a few years now, and I've got two the same I've got this eat drink and be scary and I've got this one keep calm and carry on um, zombies are coming and this one which is warning zombies now I think they might have been something like I don't know 69 89 pence each but I'm sure I actually bought them after Halloween a couple of years ago these two items I actually got from a party website um, and um, I think they're really good, you know, with the um, like claw hand and the ring and there's that one. I know Poundland, um, I think, did something very similar last year, but I've had those quite a few years. And then we have this, which I actually bought back from America. I'm not sure. I think a lot of um, the stuff that I got from um, America was from Walmart at the time. But obviously these now you can get from quite a lot of stores, including um, B&M. They've got quite a few in B&M of these. But at the time, as I said, they... I couldn't get anything like this, so that always has a um, sweets in at Halloween. This one, I'm not too sure where this one actually came from. I don't think this was an American one, um, but again, I can't be sure. These next few here are from Walmart. And I've got this one, because believe it or not, some of them have actually got um, the labels on, still from Walmart, and I've got these. I so say, you can get these sort of things now, and I keep saying that. And yeah, look, um, it was 88 cents at the time. And literally, I just kept wiping them over and reusing them. And I've got this one, and again, this one. As you can see, $1.84 Walmart. And as I say, we just swipe them over and we've used these years and years now. And the other thing, 
which was also from Walmart, was the cake dish. Um, which is really handy because when we bake cakes we can put secure the lid and they stay fresh. Another item from Walmart is this, this cloth. And I've had this absolutely years again. It's quite thick polythene and I just love this. Now, I did have a lot of pieces that are now missing. I had like oven gloves, tea towels, dishcloths, all in this sort of range. But um, obviously, over the years, um, they've actually been thrown out now because they got too old. And I'm not reach over here. And these are the last I've got of these. Um, again, as you can see, I did get these from America, from Walmart. And these are the bags. Again, this is something you can actually get a lot of these sort of things now in this country. And the other thing, and also um, our, my husband's aunt and uncle sometimes brings these over, is we have the um, transfers for the pumpkins. So, um, as I said, we've used these quite a few years now. And I think Hobby did actually um, photocopy a lot of the designs so that um, we can still use them. And I said he's done quite a few of them. So that is that. A couple of things I've bought um, after Halloween. And I did have actually use these last year. So I must have purchased them the previous year. And as you can see, they, um, they were three. 99 each from B&M and I paid 50 pence each for them. This set, if I remember rightly, I had on my mantle and this one I had on the small shelves behind our lounge door. As I said, this is the time to um, sort of get pieces. Something that I haven't used is um, this. This is the jelly mould from Asta. So that might be something that possibly will be getting rid of this year. And these dishes, I'm not 100% sure again where these have come from. I've got three of those. Um, I just use those for snacks. Then I've got the salad forks here. I'm not going to keep saying I'm not sure where they came from because it's going to get a little bit boring. And I've got a few straws left that wasn't used last year. And these were from Avon. I've got two sets here and I haven't used them. So if they're not used this year, I will be getting rid of them. And they're for your cupcakes. So it's a set of four. And so I've got two lots here. And... I remember I bought these um, in the Avon cell when I used to do Avon. So um, it's obviously that's the frame and you put the cupcake inside there. So that's, I said that's something question mark on. Then I do have the broom and the hat. And sometimes what I tend to do is put those on my coat pegs. And the next things, two items I've got here is the skull. I got these from Studio Cards um, online and I've had these a good many years. I'm sure they probably do something like this. But as I said, this is when I sort of bought one piece each year and I bought the skull and it's for sweets. And I bought the haunted house, which is here. So both from Studio Cards and um, as I said I don't know whether they actually do these um, again. I've had these, I would say 15 years, maybe longer, these two items. So um, I'm sure you can get something like that. The other item is something that I DIY'd last year. The only thing is two of the decorations are missing off of it because um, I put them on our train. Obviously, I didn't 
pull them out to put with uh, Halloween decorations was this wreath and um, a lot of the stuff like the actual wreath came from Home Bargains and I got the spiders if I remember rightly from Home Bargains but like this came from, this scarf came from um, Poundland and so did the wand and then these little cardboard things I actually had on my um, my um, Harry Potter pyjamas and then I got a set of glasses here but I did have um, two like um, Harry Potter um, Christmas decorations one hanging down there and one down the bottom but um, they must have gone on the Christmas tree following Halloween and I never put them separate but as I said, I was actually really pleased with that. It was the first time I've actually decorated a rave, so I was really happy with that. Then I have this little um, board here, Happy Halloween, the witch is in. Um, usually that stands in the hall. Then here I have, this came from Poundland, it's actually for a small dog, but I actually put it on my um, little um, dog um, doorstop. So, um, yeah, he usually gets um, decorated for the different seasons. And then I've got some different signs here. So I've got this Beware. I um, think it was from Asta. These Boo signs with the owl. Those... And then I've got the um, Headless Horseman, Dead and Breakfast, Enter at Own Risk. I usually have that one in the kitchen. And I've got this one. And then I've got this one. This one was from BNL because it's still got the price on. Again, this might be an item I bought after Halloween last year. Right, I do have a box. This is the box I didn't actually um, unpack because you can see um, a variety of pieces in there and I will show you that in a moment. I'll just go up onto the sofa. That ping pong thing, I think I got that. That might have been from Tesco's. Um, it's a game um, and I think I paid 50p for that is the bird cage which they have got again this year in Poundland and I do have a selection of lights here all the different lights I use around our home those two schools um, did have plastic stakes I got those from America and I got that which from Walmart then at the back there, I've got two haunted houses. I got them from Poundland in Norfolk, and I think they were two pounds each. They were bought last year. And the booze sign there, I'm pretty much sure, looking at the label, because um, it's very similar, I must have got that from Poundland, but I'm not sure if that was two pounds or five. And then down here, I've got this little pumpkin, glitter pumpkin. I've got these two owl lights here. They were Poundland. I've got two orange skulls here. They were from Asta. That mask um, was my son's. It's a werewolf. I've got some pumpkin lights here. And then this was a new purchase for last year was this cauldron the cauldron mister and as you can see that was 16.99 normally hubby doesn't take much um, notice but he did come shopping with me last year and I distinctly remember because it was something that I wasn't going to pick up and he decided he was going to have this one so um, this caught his eye and it is it is really effective when it's lit up and it's working. And then these two um, skeleton spiders. I got these um, a couple of years ago from um, B&M and these were 10 pence each. So 
in here in this box um we have got the ghost candle holder poundland and we have got this one here i presume all these were actually poundland and we've got the trick or treat buckets here and i've got some of these i know one broke i think when we took it all out the loft last year and in here i've got my tea white rat and i have the tea white spider here and the ghost i believe is in my cabinet last year these were all the range weren't they was these bottles so i've got this one i got this one just the silver one and i have got this one this was my favorite one i think i'm hoping i don't know if they've got them again this year i haven't really seen them but probably they have and that's just um the bucket so i got quite a few of these sort of things and this one here if i remember rightly i got this i believe from a charity shop and these were i think from last year as well i've got this one and i've got one in green which is here out they all light up this was Poundland because on my mantle I did a Harry Potter sort of theme. And I've got some plastic cutlery here and another one of those um, candle holders. And another pumpkin. And I used these on my mantle, these candles. I'm sure they came from Poundland. This, I believe, was from Asta. I'm sure it was. Yeah, it's got three pound on there. And, of course, it is the owl. And got here, I've got another one here. And we've got another one here. And then I've just got, um, I think, a few little bits and pieces like gift bags and things underneath. This was something I did last year. So it went on to a thing of off. It's got stuck. There we are. And to make it like a collage thing. And I had spiders coming out of it. And then I've got my um, hat here. My pumpkin hat. And as I say, I've got another one here. I've got this green one as well. So, that is about it, I think. Um, there may be a couple of little things that might be in my airing cupboard. But now I have got to get all this um, sorted out. And then once I've organised it all, then I will be able to do my... Um, Halloween home tour and but I'm not 100% sure that I am actually going to use it all but we shall see so I hope you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching goodbye